welcome guys to another episode of my journey today i'm touching on a bit of a sensitive topic i've been delaying to talk about this topic for a while but i've been wanting to to make a video about it i did mention it in one of my previous videos where i was doing a video of why i got fired or resigned from my previous job and the the topic is about being sad and depression you know and i just want to go into into signs signs of depression how do you know if you are depressed or if you are sad you know because i feel like people tend to use the the term depression loosely these days a person might just be feeling sad and then they they'll they'll just say they are they're feeling depressed because most people usually don't know the difference between being sad and being depressed you know but for for someone who's experienced i'd say both <laughs> i think i mean i'm i'm in better position to 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 talk about the the the, the, the topic so i'm going to mention about uh let's see 10 10 signs of depression or how to know if you are depressed and the first one is let's get into it the first one is firstly you need to be able to differentiate between being sad and being depressed so let's just define being sad first being sad is 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 a temporal state it's it's a temporal state of emotion you know one which doesn't last it it can be a day you can be sad for a day because of someone or someone who did something to you or something that has happened to you that you you disliked and then maybe the next day you'll be like ah okay that was it i'm okay now i'm fine you know it's done what happened happened and then you're just over it the you were sad you know but if that feeling or of sadness persists or is continue is continual you know then it becomes depression because it it it's, it has lasted maybe for a week but mostly it's more than a week maybe a month or several months some people it's it's even yes because some even go into medication start taking medication you know suppressants and and yeah so yeah it depends but once it goes beyond i would say beyond a week or two then you could start getting worried that you might be slipping into depression and sign number two to to check whether you are in depression or not is loss of interest in, in in stuff which you liked to do like hobbies uh, hobbies and and pleasurable stuff for instance when when i started sleeping into depression i i stopped listening to music you know i music just i felt like music made me more sad every type of music i listened to i just it just didn't do it for me so i stopped listening to music i stopped going out with friends and eating out i stopped going out to play indoor soccer i, I just stopped activities you know I, I just wanted to stay at home that's 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 uh, that's sign number two sign number three you as I've said, you, you stay indoors, you either lying around in bed, uh, you just eating food, junk food, you know, you, you, 
you just don't want to do anything or any activity you just indoors all the time that is sign number three sign number four you you start losing weight if yeah there's there's a change in your weight you 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 lose weight significantly that is sign number four sign number five uh it's it's sleep you 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 start having insomnia and then when like you know when i was in that state i would get into bed for at about maybe 8 or 9 p.m but i just couldn't fall asleep it will one o'clock will come a.m 2 a.m 3 a.m 4 a.m i just couldn't sleep and if it happens that i do get to finally sleep i'll sleep for maybe like two hours it will be like maybe i'll sleep at four half past four and then it's four five six i sleep for like two hours or three hours and then i'll be up again so yeah that's 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 sign number four uh was an on sign number four sign number five i don't remember but another sign is loss of energy you know feeling uh fatty sugar and uh, loss of energy uh, you feel tired all the time from nothing you feel tired from doing nothing because you like indoors sleeping lying in bed all the time going up and just get up when you just going to get a snack you know so that's another sign you just feel tired all the time and then the next sign is feeling guilty you start feeling uh, guilty that you might have done something wrong or you feel guilty that you deserve this whatever type of way you're feeling you deserve to feel that way so you feel a lot of guilt that's another sign and then the other sign is finding it difficult to concentrate right or or making decisions i'm i'm usually a very decisive person you know when i want to make a decision i think long and hard about it and then once i've come to a conclusion i will make that decision and i will stick to it come hail water uh, fire or whatever i will stick to my decision but when i was in that situation i just couldn't make up my mind you know i'll i'll, I'll make a decision today and then a few days down the line i'll change it and then a few days down the line i just didn't know what which decision to take you know i was i was very indecisive and the next sign or symptoms is feeling uh, it's physical physical symptoms you start feeling headaches you know you have headaches you have unexplainable headaches you have stomach cramps your your body starts to ache you know for for no reason you know those those they, they, those are other symptoms physical symptoms and then the the next symptom of depression or signs of depression is that you get easily irritated or you are restless you know you feel agitated uh, you get easily annoyed you know <laughs> I, I remember just uh, when was it i think it was yesterday and a good culprit for me on this one easily get annoyed is my daughter she she can just get she can just annoy me pretty easily oh and my dad my dad i think when was it no i don't think it was yesterday but the day before yesterday and he was just 
you know he went on a tangent about he asked me to do something and then when i i did it i i just did it because i did just to get it over with and then he and then he came and asked me is this the best you could do you should have just left it if you didn't want to do it and i was so annoyed <laughs> i know i know i was wrong about it but still i was i was very easily annoyed but yeah that's that's another symptom and then uh, another one this is the last one this is a major one for people who are who are in depression or suffering from depression i think this is the 10th or 11th one if i'm not mistaken it's you start having suicidal thoughts you know you start of thinking of ways to to end it uh, you start to think of less painful ways to end it you'll think about taking pills and then you'll be like no pills i might survive someone might find me and just take me to hospital and i'll survive and then you think about shooting yourself gun and then you're like yeah maybe a gun can work but what if i put it on my head and it just the bullet just goes through and then i just don't die and then i become brain dead and now i'm just a burden to people <laughs> and then you're like maybe if i go to a train station and lie on the trailway on the train railway that that will definitely work that's a showcase i would i, I, I would not survive that one you, you know you just start coming up with ideas to just end it that's that's like the extremes of depression so yeah the, those are the signs guys of depressions of depression so next time before you say you're depressed just go come to this video and just tick on all of these things that i've counted and see if you are experiencing any of them if maybe you just experience two or three of them out of the, the 10 or 11 which I've given you then you are not depressed maybe you are in the beginning stage or maybe you are just sad but if you are experiencing maybe 50 upwards of all the things that I've mentioned in this video then you are definitely on your way to, to depression or you are in depression you just need to see a specialist uh, maybe a therapist at first and then a, a psychiatrist next and maybe you can get yourself on some medication yeah so yeah guys don't stop using the word depression loosely if you said just say you said yeah so if you enjoyed the video guys please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the youtube channel and just follow my journey to recovery from i'm rebuilding myself uh, i'm not always posting videos like this i post other videos where i do exercise routines gym uh, i exercise i also do some uh, couch sessions with my daughter where we i just talk to her and just try to bond with her and just find out uh, where her mind is and how was her day or a, a week we say uh, yeah so yeah just also just follow those you can just go to the channel and just check those out anyway thank you for tuning in i think that's the video and i'm out peace